Okay, for this video, what I want to show you how to do is to find the linear regression equation and the correlation coefficient using Desmos.com. So for this, what we have is some data. And before you fit a linear regression equation or come up with the equation, you do want to look at the scatter plot to make sure that a line is appropriate, that you do see a linear trend, because remember that um, if there is a curve in it, you don't want to use a linear equation. So with this, what we are going to do is we are going to take our data that we have and we're going to plug it into Desmos. So the data that we have is monthly sales and thousands of dollars and the cost of online ads that correspond to that. So for example, this says that if we have $368,000 in sales that week or that month we spent $1.7,000 or $1,700 on online ads. So that's what the data is telling us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my screen and I'm already on Desmos.com. So if you just go to Desmos.com and you open up a calculator screen, um, what we are going to do is I'm going to click in the first box and I'm going to add an item and I'm going to add a table. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter all of our coordinates in and I like to put in all of my X coordinates first. So I just would type in the 368, 345, 650, 837. I have this written down on a piece of paper, 331, 556, 376. And then we would go over to the Y column and enter all of our Y values that correspond. So we would have 1.7, 1 1.3, 2.6, 4.3, 1.3, 2.2, and 1.3. So you do want to always make sure that you put your data in correctly. Right now we can't see these points and the reason is is because our window is not set up to fit what we have here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your um, scale is set up to fit the data that you have. So all I did was I took this data, I just had it written on a piece of paper, and I plugged it into a table that I created using this button in Desmos. Okay, these points have been plotted over here. You just can't see them because right now we can only see from 10 to 10 and negative 5 to negative 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little graph settings and it asks me what values do I want for the X axis. And if you want, you could even add the label so I could type in monthly sales and thousands if I wanted to. Um, but what I'm going to do for the X axis is I'm going to take this number here and I'm going to delete it and I'm going to look over here at my X values. And I can see that my lowest X value is 331. So I'm going to start at 300 just to make sure that I include it. And it gives me an error because my lower value is too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the upper value and I'm going to look here to see that 837 is my highest. So I'm just going to go up to 900 just to make sure that I hit it. So now you can see some of the points are starting to show up. Okay, our Y axis right now goes from negative 13 to positive 13. Since I don't have any negative values, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm just going to start with zero. And then for the upper bound, I'm just going to go, since this one goes to 4.3 is the highest, I'm just going to go to five. Okay, so now if I just click off of this, it shows us our scatter plot plot. And you can see from the data that it does show us a linear trend. So we would be okay to fit a linear model to this one. So to do this in here, what you are going to do is there's a couple things that you can do. You can either type the f of x expression or you can just start typing here. So what I'm going to type, and I can write this down if you need me to, but what I'm going to type in is I am going to hit the Y because I want Y sub one. And so to write a subscript in here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the underscore button. And when you underscore it, it will allow you to put a subscript on here. So it's saying that I'm going to use Y one. And then I just arrowed out of here. So I know you can't see the keys that I'm hitting, but I just did Y. And then I hit the shift key with the underscore button, which is next to the zero on your keyboard. And then what we want to do is put the tilde. The tilde is above the tab. So you're going to hit the shift and above the tab and it'll put the little tilde in there that we're saying we want Y1 to approximately be the following. And then we're going to put an M for slope and we want it to be multiplied by our X1 coordinate. So I would put X and I want to do underscore again. So shift and the button next to the zero. 
and we would type in 1, and then we would put plus b, and that way it'll come up with our regression equation. So it was y underscore 1 tilde is this little symbol right here. This is tilde. It's approximately m represents our slope. x1 is saying that we want to fit it to these x1 coordinates up here, and b is our y-intercept. So if you look right here, it gives us all of the values that we need. It gives us our M to plug in. It says that for our slope, we're going to use 0 0.0055. For our B or our Y intercept, we're going to use negative 0 0.618779. You can go to however many places it tells you to round to in your problems. If it doesn't tell you, you can write them all out. It doesn't matter. R squared is your variance, so that's telling you that 94% of the variability is described by this equation. And R is our correlation coefficient. So the closer R is to 1, the stronger the relationship is in our data set. So because this R is really close to 1, this is a very strong data set, so we can fit this to it very well. And then if we needed to, we could use this to help make predictions. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and write this information down, and we would just say that our equation that we came up with is y equals 0 0.0055, and like I said, just round to however many places you were told to round to, um, times x minus 0 0.61. Um, it went to 8779, but I'm just going to round to four places to stay consistent, so I would do 0 0.61. 8, 8. So this would be our prediction equation, or our y equals mx plus b. This would be the regression model that we would use. So if I wanted to predict um, how much we would spend on our online ads, we would just plug in our monthly sales. And you could do this the other way around. In this case, um, we could have also done the online ads as our x and the response as our monthly sales. Uh, there's a lot of different choices that you could do for this, but I had set this up as my X and this is my Y. Um, we could switch it around and do X and Y the other way, and you would get a different equation if you switched your X and your Y. So with this, the other thing that we found was R, and we found that R is approximately 0.9715. The closer R is to 1, the stronger the positive relationship. So this is saying that it's going to be increasing at a linear rate. Um, if it was negative, that means that your slope is negative and it's decreasing from left to right. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.